Yes, hello and welcome to the U-School career mode with Stevenage. We're gonna get straight into the first game at home to Charlton. First place versus second place. This is a big one. A few changes to the lineup. So we have Fredrickson starting as our right back. We have Pereira starting, and we also have Kazuyoshi starting, our new lad, so let's go with it. Uh just mainly because all the players are tired. We're starting these lads. And also to give Kazuyoshi some game time, see what he's like. Oh, Kazuyoshi, that's a that's a high IQ play there, mate. I was looking for the wide ball, but no, Kazuyoshi saw it differently, and it's a goal to us. Scored by Pereira with the assist from Kazuyoshi. Mate, I didn't even see that ball on, but I was trying to go out to um to Lundgren out wide, but Kazuyoshi sees the space that Pereira found, and Pereira gets the shot, keeper gets a touch to it, but bounces off of him and into the back of the net. Gets a touch off his hand, cannot save it, back of the net. That is, that is great. Love that. Great play from the lads. Pereira gets himself on the score sheet. Kazuyoshi gets himself an assist. Oh no. That's just the most unfortunate way the ball could have dropped. The worst place it could have possibly dropped and it goes right there. I mean, he should have gotten a better header on that, Thomas. They really should have, mate. Here we go. Patrick Kelly. Patrick Kelly. Oh, there you go. There you go, Patrick Kelly, of course he was gonna score that, of course he was gonna score. Never in doubt when it's Patrick Kelly. Neat run by him to find the space just behind the defence, and the finish was just, just Patrick Kelly, wasn't it? It's just what he does. Just slides it beyond the keeper, who's already started to go down, flicks it up over him. Keeper maybe could have gotten a touch on it if he'd maneuvered, maneuvered his arms better, but he didn't. So we get the goal. Kazuyoshi going for a run. Kazuyoshi going for a shot. Kazuyoshi getting fouled in the box. Like, look at this. Kazuyoshi strikes the ball. And while it's still in play, gets completely taken out. How is that not a penalty? It was an off-the-ball incident. How is that not a pen? Kazuyoshi has a man go in for a challenge on him late after he's released the ball and gets taken down in the box. I, I'm sorry, I, I don't understand. How is that not a pen? I'm honestly going to be thinking about that for days, how that wasn't a penalty. I just do not understand. Kelly, Lundgrenoff, Messias, Janssen on. They're just so tired that they, I can't afford to keep playing them. They'll just completely destroy their stamina. Messias, Kazuyoshi off the post. Messias on the follow-up. I don't know why I passed to Kazuyoshi. Nothing against him, but it was just not the right ball to play. He hits the post, but Messias finds the follow-up, and we get that third goal. That one is for the penalty not being given. The penalty not being given, it's fine, we'll get a goal anyway. You're like, here, why did I not shoot with Messias? Kazuyoshi just unlucky to hit the uh, post already. Messias gets the shot on target, Keeper gets a foot to it, but can only kick it into the back of his own net. Don't know why I didn't go for that first time shot with Messias, I'm confused about myself there. Final sub of the night, Velasquez off, Torres on, again, just tiredness. He just looks so comfortable on the ball, Kazuyoshi. I love that, he just loves having the football at his feet. Like, look at this, he's just so comfortable, the ball at his feet and he gets himself on the score sheet as well Kazu Yoshi you have impressed me today mate you have impressed me the man from Japan is gonna do bits it seems like he just has so much comfort and confidence when on the ball like look at him just strolling past defenders like it's nothing and then slotting a ball past the keeper albeit keeper should have very much saved that like that was not a hard shot to save if he'd just gone with his feet rather than his hands Kazuyoshi gets on the score sheet on his debut we love to see it Minoru Kazuyoshi our man from Japan. And that's game over. We win 4-1 against second place Cholton. That is a statement victory. Very happy with the lads. And this lad here shined quite bright today on his debut. Kazuyoshi. I like him. I'm a fan. Came in in a massive game for his debut and just stayed calm, stayed confident and played very well all game. Got the assist as well, of course. An assist and a goal on his debut. Kazuyoshi, what a start to your life as a Stevenage player, mate. All right, so second round of the FA Cup. Now we're at home against Peterborough United. Changed the entire lineup for this game just because we can and it's a cup game, so I want to change everything. So we've got Russo between the sticks of Vogel and Brown, the centre-back partnership. Eklund right back, Lugano left back, Giovanni Pintos, Cameron Green as the holding mids with Brown, Hintermeyer and Kuntz out as our attacking three 
and then Volker up top. Pretty changed bench as well. We've got Schwab on there, which is uh, not really a big surprise to see Schwab in the squad. We also have Contreras, Russo, Edson, Rojas, Turner, then Fredrickson and Thomas as our bench. It's nice to see some of these players that get almost no game time having a bit of time on the pitch as well. I mean, when was the last time we saw some of these players like Kuntz? When was the last time he played? It's been a long time. Marcus Kuntz as well, getting himself on the score sheet. I think his name is Marcus, right? Whatever. His name is Kuntz. I know I could say it the other way. I'm not doing it, even though it would be funny. But what a goal, mate. Didn't expect him to actually score that. I expected him to, you know, smack it into the keeper's hands or smack it wide. One or the other, but not into the back of the net. Well done, fella. Really good play uh, to get it to him as well. The play, was that by uh, Falker that did it? Either way, it was great. And then Kuntz with this shot. Giovanni Pintos just ducking underneath the ball, knowing that it was going in. And a goal for him. Terrible trim. Good goal. Come on. Oh, no, Giovanni. That was so close to being a great goal. Just that touch let him down. Eklund, come on, man. Oh, what? Why are they getting away with fouling me so often here? Are you kidding me? What about the foul on Eklund? Come on, man. That's so shit. Eklund was fouled and they score off the back of it and now, now the game's level. Sorry, Eklund, man. That's not your fault. You were fouled. Normally, if you lose possession in that position, yeah, that's your fault. But no, you were fouled and the ref just decided not to give it. Not even a subtle foul. It was just a smack. Okay, well, we're gonna did just handball it and get possession, so I guess the ref's trying to level it up, but they got a goal off there, so unless we get a goal off this, not level, is it, ref? Into Meyer. All right, we do get a goal off it, so we're calm. We're level now. They've had one decision that's gone their way that shouldn't have led to a goal, and so have we now. Very neat play here to just hold it up, find Hintermeyer, and Hintermeyer, I mean, just great strike, mate. Very neatly taken. Great controlling touch to roll it onto his stronger right foot because he knew he had the time, and then the stronger right foot strike into the back of the net, which is perfect. Wait, why has he got a yellow? What's that Glenn done? Calling it. If they had done that to me, not even a foul. That is stupid. And that is an absolute beaut. I can't even be mad. That was just a really nice goal. It came off the back of a free kick that was never actually a free kick. But to be fair, the header was just great. But it came off the back of a free kick that, that never was. Brown should have done better there to, to get to it. Keeper just stared at the man. But I guess it came in so quickly. He just rooted to the spot. Two goals of this now that have come off the back of fouls. Well, not even a foul. One's come off the back of a foul, and one's come off the back of not a foul. And they've both been issues. Brown, are you through? Oh, that's good. That's a pen. No, he stayed on his feet, so it's not. I would have liked the pen, honestly. And I should have gotten it. When they get a foul for, you know, having a little bit of contact with my man, yet they can literally slide tackle me in the box, and it doesn't even get pulled up for a pen. You know, it, 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 this game, just, you know, the refs aren't biased. There's definitely not a bias in the refs against you at times. Because scripting doesn't exist in this game. Vogel, just take a shot, mate. Oh, for a second, I thought. A triple sub. Hintermeyer, Kuntz, and Eklund off. Contreras, Russo, and Fredrickson on. Russo. A great strike. Oh, my word. What a goal. That's literally his first involvement since coming off the bench. And he scores an absolute beauty. Being pressured out. And just edge of the box just strikes one perfectly into that bottom left corner. That is a brilliant goal. That is an absolutely brilliant goal. Wow. What a strike, mate. What a way to involve yourself in the game. To announce yourself in this match and be like, hello lads, I'm here. That's absolutely brilliant. Russo, take a bow, fella. Take a bow. Cameron Green just fighting with this man. Why did you pass to Cameron Green? What? Oh, fuck off, ref. Fuck right off, ref. Come on. Are you shitting me? No, I'm not having that. I'm not having that. No way. Nah, 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 nah. That's... Nah, you're taking the piss now, ref. You're fully just taking the piss. I can't believe that. The ref is absolutely taking the piss out of us there. Absolutely taking the piss. 
We'll have time, please, ref. Thank you very much. And we just do just get a second injury at the end of the game there. I thought Russo might have gone down injured, but it doesn't seem like it. We win 3-2. Ref was taking the piss out of us there, but we still managed to get the win with a beauty of a strike for the winning goal from Russo. Well done, fella. Like, what a way to announce yourself in the game. I'm, I'm not getting over that. That was an absolutely brilliant goal from him. He gets that one goal, the all-important winner. And what a goal it was. That will be the first touch, second touch, third touch, fourth touch, fifth touch of the game and he goes and scores with it five touches of the ball in the game and he scores that is insane all right into another cup game we're in the area semi-final of the leasing.com trophy and i'm saying the leasing.com trophy we can win it two years on the bounce here so we're away against qpr for this one i think that's a winnable game back to our starting lineup again our normal first team but we have made a change putting Turner in between the sticks because as it's a cup game I always rotate from my main keeper just because that's what I like doing most. Couple changes on the bench as well we've got Fredrickson on the bench for our defensive change and then we have Kazuyoshi as our center mid change and then the rest is just as normal. Both teams so far have looked absolutely shit. <laughs> We've both been fucking dreadful. Come on, QPR. One of us needs to step up and be good. Bellas goes to take the shot, mate. Mm, nice attempt. Come on, Ewan. Give us something at the end of this half. Give us some excitement. Do we actually have a highlight this half? No, nope, Ewan Davis can't give us anything. We almost get something from Kelly, but no. Oh my god, what a shit half of football. <laughs> both teams are at fault. We were just terrible. Four shots from both teams at that half. That was just... Oh, well, that was a dreadful half of football. Kelly... Torres, finally some actual excitement. We get a goal courtesy of Torres with a Kelly assist. God, it's been 70 minutes of just absolutely dull as dishwater football. We finally get something good going on. We get a Torres goal. We love to see it. Very, very boring game. Up until now, that is. And that gives us some excitement. Torres getting himself on the score sheet. Finally, we have a goal. Good strike from him. Good pass from Kelly to get it to him. And I like that from Schwab, just blocking the keeper's view but staying on side, so it's perfectly legal. Oh, they get one back, but it was offside. It was offside. I thought like he was a bit far forwards. But I didn't want to give the offside shout in case I was completely wrong. Uh, Velasquez coming off for Kazuyoshi, and then Thomas coming off for Fredrickson. Fredrickson now our right-sided centre-back. And we've moved Soldivia Costa out to being the left-sided centre-back. Just because he's more naturally right-sided as Fredrickson. And he can play centre-back. He's not just a right-back. Uh, he's a right-back slash centre-back. Get it away, lads. Come on. Why did you not go for that Fredrickson? Come on, man. Like, Fredrickson, just watch this ball go past him. Even though I was smacking buttons to get away. Like, Fredrickson just stepped back from it. I was clicking to get it away. I was pressing buttons on my keyboard to get it away and he just stood there and watched it and now they equalise because this game is shit. And when you press a button it just doesn't, it decides, oh yeah, your player that you're controlling is going to do nothing about it. Oh, Lundgren, did you stay onside there? I think you did. Lundgren, that is beautiful and that could be the late winner that we needed. Beautiful run, Lundgren, and a great pass to find him as well. Oh, that was great. That was fantastic. We go... We let a goal in and we go back to being level after a really shit thing from the game. But Lundgren is just like, ah, fuck it. I'll be great. Schwab with the assist. Beautiful hold up play from Schwab. And Lundgren just slots it round the keeper. We've taken Schwab off, brought on Pereira. He's not going to get a touch of the ball. More just a waste time than anything else. And that is a 2-1 win. Let's go. Their one goal shouldn't have even gone in because it was just the game being shit. Who cares though? We win 2-1. The game could try and script it against me, but you can't script against longer and scoring. Very happy with that. We move on to the area final of the Leasing.com trophy. Honestly, when this first goal went in at the, in the 71st minute, I thought that was going to be it. Neither team had looked like scoring at all. And then a disallowed goal, an allowed goal, and another winner for us. Right, well that will be everything for this episode. We did good sir. this episode. We got three games three wins anyway thank you very much for watching i really do hope you did enjoy if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new hit the bell twitter and discord in the description i'll catch you later yeah, yeah.